Merry Christmas YouTube Vapors. Um, it's Emil here again at Island Vape UK. Um, just going to do like a little slight rundown on what I feel of the best like bits and pieces have been through the through the year. I know we're coming close to the you know, like new year and I thought I'd give you my opinion what I think. Um, yeah, we're going to do like say my top 10 personal favourite juices of the year. I'm going to go through a few uh, RDTAs, um, tanks, drippers, mechs, starter kits up to more advanced kits. Let's tell you what you all I think. Um, I know, back in the shop on Christmas Day. Hey ho. <laughs> right, let's start off with um, juices, won't we? Um, let's go through, I've got my top 10 here, what I, I personally feel. I'm liking this. This year, my favourites. So to start off with, let's start off with uh, Yoda Snot. And that's a lemon and lime. I really, really enjoy it. It's just one of those flavours. It doesn't matter if I've got slight vapours turn because touch wood. Um, I haven't had it properly yet. Don't really want to either, but there you go. Um, yeah, it's really zesty. Real nice lemon and lime. Really enjoy this. Well done, Nasa Vapes. One of my... One of my favourite juices of the year. Um, next flavour is this kind of a all round favourite most of the time. It's unicorn milk from Cutwood. Nice strawberry milkshake. A little bit of a difference to the taste buds with this one. A bit different from the rest. Really enjoyed that. Um, then we've got 12 monkeys. Mangumbees. Mangumbees. Yep. Mangumbees. Yeah, it's basically like a guava, kind of tropical fruit. I think there's a bit of um, mango and a couple of other fruits in there, but really, really nice. Gets your lips warped in. Like, mm, really nice. Um, then, two between this one. I really, really enjoyed uh, my lemon pound cake. You know, with like the, a lemon kind of cake with the icing. And it's kind of, I haven't got the other bottle with me, but it's it's a joint tie on this one. It's between um, Breakfast at Tilios, pound, pound cake, lemon pounds, and Pound It. And this is the company. I really, really enjoyed this one. Definitely in my top, well, it is in my top ten. Uh, the next flavour I'm going to show you guys is, yep, Taffy, man. I absolutely love this grape. Didn't even know what Taffy was till this flavour came out, but... Glad I found out. I really, really enjoyed this one. Nice salt water grape taffy. The other flavour's really nice as well. I'm really looking forward to their new one as well, the blueberry. Strawberry and watermelon, the other one, the taffy. Really similar to the other one, but slight differences. Let's pop the camera up, have a quick vape. Alright. Next flavour is going to be flawless. Game over. Really, again, enjoyed this one. Um, it's like a cereal milk, but it's not. It's an ice cream with Fruit Loops, and for, I love the bottle as well. And the flavour, it's just one of those. Really, really nice. Um, enjoyed it a lot. Next flavour we're going to have is from US3. Now, Nevada Colada, it's their mystery flavour. What I get from it, it's kind of like cherry cola cubes. Um, my partner Jay, that's on the computer at the minute, she always says it's a bit like pink lemonade, but I think it's subjective and it's different. It doesn't actually sell on the tin, or the box. <laughs> um, a lot of other people that have come in the shop have said it's like refreshers, but yeah, another mouth-watering one. Really, really enjoyed this one. Um, the next one is the new one from Lost from Cosmic Fog. Lost Fog, uh, it's the neon cream. Beautiful sherbet flavour, orange, zestiness, definitely up my street, I really, really enjoyed this one, that's why it's in the top 10, really enjoyed it, and I've left the last two till last, because they're one of those, um, I'll start off with this one, pink lemonade, element, it's one of those, I feel you've got to love it, I know some people might not, but I think a majority do, really, really enjoyed this. Mouth watering again, flavour bursting around your mouth after you've had a draw. It's really, really nice. Then it's finally we get down to 
the last one where it's going to be a bit touchy for some it is the coil killer itself um, fresh squeezed element it's the first one that gave me a real wow factor in vaping it's, it literally leaves your mouth watering it's just one of those flavours and really lifelike really sweet and I've got a sweet tooth might have kind of guessed through the flavours I've picked for my top 10 but there you go but fresh squeezed by Element. It is a coil killer, but Element, guys, really, really enjoyed this. Waiting for their new flavour, the grapefruit. Should be with us very, very soon. I really like that. Um, let's start off on tanks. My personal favourites. Alright, so we have three tanks here. Um, a few different reasons why I picked these tanks. I'll start off with kind of, I'd say overall favourite would be the UL Crown. I love it. Main reasons, quartz glass. Not sure, but I'm kind of sure it makes a difference. The juice seems to have sit in it a little bit better. Airflow's not the biggest, but it's okay for me. It's really good. Love the threading. Everything kind of smoothly comes off. Works really nicely, everything's really well made together. And it kind of gets there because of value for money. You can change your drip tip on it as well. Another good point. And for the money, £22 for a tank that comes with three coils. You get a NI200, 0.25 and a 0.5 coil. And a glass. Can't grumble. Really, really good tank for the money. And second one which has definitely got to be up there, is the Mini Super Tank by Tobacco. Now, I, did, I forgot to say, this is like you can run it up to, say, 110 watts. I did run it up to about 196, maybe 194, before the volt started stopping. And, um, yeah, we went through about 10 of us, trying to give it some, and no dry hits, nothing. It just kept going, and by the end of the day, the coil was a bit knackered, but there you go, it kept going. Um, but then you had this little boy I was just started with, Mini Super Tank. Another great little top fill. Kind of only downside was you had to use this cap, but it's the only cap that could fit it. But here at Island Vape UK, we kind of solved that with um, having some drip tip makers that really, really do their job well. Have one custom made for it. So that'll be a new kind of exciting thing. Another good point about it, comes in numerous colours, and I mean, uh, well, at the minute we've got seven colours in but I know there's another two on their way as well so really enjoyed this tank airflow is really nice clicky really large even though it's so small I think it holds an okay amount of juice doesn't drink the juice either handles all the different fluids in it um I'll say up to about 80 80 watts before the drip tip gets slightly warm on the lips but brilliant for flavour and again excellent on price definitely my well, I've seen my top tanks, it definitely is. And then my kind of personal favourite at present is the Sense Hercules Plus. Uh, love the airflow at the top, even though you can take your drip tip, it's not kind of joint on. Airflow comes up through the chamber. It seems to do something. It's not like all the rest of the top airflow tanks. Works really well. To 100 watts. And I just like the way it kind of, the, the vapour, shoots in your mouth it's just kind of it just works for me um other guys between these three it's slightly good points slightly not so good points with all of them but these three definitely my well that's my top tanks of the year personally not dropping everything uh, including the phone sorry guys back again right now um on to rtas between these two guys the mini goblin and the aroma riser now for looks I'd say I'd say flavor I'm gonna give it to the mini goblin absolutely love the look of this RTA here yeah. it's just a really nice piece of art flavors from it really good so that's the reasons for that one uh, but then for airflow for being able to be have bigger builds in it. Love the velocity style deck in the aroma riser. 
for that, I'm kind of putting these two on par with each other because sometimes I might just want to look a little extra sexy um, <laughs> with the goblin. And other times I just want to chuck some clouds and have a tank at the same time with great flavour. So my top two for well, joint first for RTAs. Let's go on to drippers. Now drippers, I've kind of done three sections here. One for just flavour, one in between, one for decent flavour but immense clouds and the build you can do on this guy. I'll show you from the start. Flavour wise, I'm going to give it to the snub nose. VPRS, really really works well. Four post deck, better fingers today. Real small juice well but for flavour dripper. Yep, it's my number one. Snug nose, don't know if you can see. Got a little gun on the side of it. In between, in between clouds, flavour and everything else is going to be the Succubus by El Diablo. Again, I love the airflow on this guy. And shoots up from the bottom and from the sides, you can adjust it, four post. Decent size well in it, not the biggest, but it's enough for me. I really, really enjoyed this one. So in between, it's going to go to the succubus. And for chucking big ass clouds, and for looks now, it's got to be the temple. Yep, this is a beauty. And I've had other drippers that have got more airflow, and I think... It's just going on extreme. This has got ample airflow for pretty much anything I've put on it. You can put coils in it for days. Absolutely massive holes in it. Decent well. And I really do like the look of it as well. So they're my three top drippers for the year. Right, tubes. It's got to give it to the rig. The rig V2. And I can't really forget this guy. The little rough neck together the two they pair perfectly love the button on it it hits like a train so for max rig rig v2 everything's dropping today <laughs> i'll make sure i don't do it anymore yeah so at the beginning of the year it's limitless and we went on to vcms and just gone to the rig in the end it's just all day the feel of it the solidness the way it hits the looks different colors you can get in it i just like everything going with this one let's have a little vape right let's start off on start kits now um it's kind of joint two of them got a little curve mini lovely little device Control the wattage on it up to 20 watts with the little tech tanks. So it's a little tech curve mini. For styling wise, let's put one down before I fall over or drop something again. It's the end of Christmas day, what can, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, but size wise, it is minute. Lovely, lovely starter kit. Top marks for it, ticks all the boxes again. But then this guy come along. That would have just kind of won it hands down for me, but then this come out. T18 by Anakin. It's obviously it's not chucking massive clouds, but it does what it is on the tin. It's it's great for flavour. It's it just feels like you kind of replicating a cigarette but with a little bit more so you're kind of still getting into the vaping spirit so I was starting off I didn't know what I knew now either this or the little tech would kind of be my choices great little starter kits and good value for money as well alright let's get on to the next kind of bits and pieces right Getting a step up from starter kits, I've got to give it to, well this is an IPV D3, but I've got to give it to the IPV D2. 
brilliant beer kit. You can, uh, it's got an external battery. Let me put this down, hopefully it doesn't fall over again. No, it's falling over. There you go. Yeah, so that just kind of pulls off. Interchangeable battery, but you can charge it from the device, which is a plus point. Uh, the D2 was 75 watts. They kind of upgraded this to 80. On temp mode now, it's 75 watts. So it's even though it's just come out, I'll give it to this. But the D2 kind of put in the groundwork to give this the praise it needed. Kind of same shape and size. Really stealthy. But for 80 watts now, it's got to be a winner for me. Going up again, this one could be kind of... An iffy-ish choice. It could have been, for me, the Segeli 150, the original one. Because it, it can be dropped. It just goes through the, goes through so much, like... It just goes through a hard time and it keeps com on coming on out on top. So it's just, that, that kind of was a winner for me. But then IPV kind of done this for me. IPV 4S. Um, 120 watts. It's just what it's on a tin. Dual battery. Easily removed. Uh, well, my partner Jade uses it, and she drops everything, and it's still going. Um, I like the feel of it. For the price, it was a winner. But there was something that kind of sneaked past me. It had a bad rep in my head because of its predecessor, if you want to call it that, and that's smock. It was the M80 kind of put me off. Didn't have them in for a long time. We have got them in shop now. Just got to give it to this guy. Yeah, oh, I said to a lot of people I wouldn't get them in for this reason, that reason, but everyone online, because of you vapors, it's got to be up there for me. Smock X Cube with a TFV4. Change all the LED lights on it. It's a real cheap mod. 165 watts. You can upgrade it to 180. Tank drinks juice like you don't know what, and I find it slightly muted, but damn, they've got about 100 different coils now, so I'm sure there'll be a coil out there that'll suit you with this device, and for a beginner's kit, it's not too shabby, I've said it, I didn't think I'd ever say it, it's got to the end of the year, and I thought to myself, come on, everyone makes mistakes, should have had them in earlier, it's a decent mod, it's a decent mod for the money, let's put it like that. Right, next kind of step up, and it's just jumped in. Wizmec have come out from, well, the press of 40. I thought that was a solidly built device. And they brought out, like, the Reload DNA 200. Now they've got the RX Reload. Value for money, takes three batteries. It's, it's, it's a brilliant mod. It fits in the hand really nicely. 200 watts with temp control. The RX 200 by Wismek and Jabo. Top, top stuff. Now, DNA-wise, it, it could have gone for the Velo. It's, it's up there. But then, Vapor Shark, it's, it's such a nice small mod. You can charge it faster than all the rest. Uh, screen on the bottom, not really a problem for me. Love the finish on this. For a stealthy mod at an actual 200 watts. It's got to be a winner in my book. Yeah, Vapor Sharp. Really enjoyed this one. Then, the Beast. Um, if you want something where batteries last for days, you're not so bothered about how big it is. Got to give it to the Hammer of God V2. It's an absolute beast. It really is. Absolutely love this device. It hits harder than anything I've used. Um, batteries last forever. Only kind of downside is the size, but mod wise, they're my picks, guys. It's Christmas Day, so I don't want to bore you forever. And I'm using my mod to pop up the camera. But Merry Christmas, vapors. Uh, keep on smiling, keep off those stinkies, keep juicing them up. And I'll see you in the new year. Take care and peace out.